गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्ट एक्रॉस सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड इफ यू आर नीड माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो सेल मेम्ब्रेन रेगुलेट्स द एंट्री एंड एग्जिट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स देयर आर टू वेज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट वन इज पैसिव एंड द अदर वन इज एक्टिव लेट्स टॉक अबाउट देम पैसिव ट्रांसपोर्ट पैसिव ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वायर्स नो एनर्जी अ मॉलिक्यूल क्रॉसेस द मेम्ब्रेन एंड मूव्स डाउन इट्स कंसेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट दैट इज हाई कंसेंट्रेशन टू लो कंसेंट्रेशन सो इन दिस केस एनर्जी इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड दैट मीन्स ए टी पी इज नॉट यूज एंड द मॉलिक्यूल क्रॉसेस द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन फ्रॉम higher concentration to lower concentration there are three types of passive transport simple diffusion facilitated diffusion and osmosis simple diffusion simple diffusion is a spontaneous process in which a substance moves from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration eventually eliminating the concentration difference between the two regions so this is the example of simple diffusion here is the plasma membrane and molecules will move from high to low concentration until and unless the concentration of both sides gets similar and they don't require any energy for that molecules of gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen cross cell membrane via this simple diffusion next is facilitated diffusion so facilitated diffusion is a process that allows a substance to move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration with the help of a specialized protein so in this case a protein helps this transportation unlike simple diffusion in simple diffusion no protein is required but in facilitated diffusion a protein is required the transport of glucose and amino acid from the blood stream into the cell is an example of facilitated diffusion osmosis osmosis is a process by which water molecules pass through a membrane from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration just like this these are water molecules which cross plasma membrane from high to low concentration and here also they don't require any protein just like simple diffusion next is active transport active transport requires energy in the form of atp or something else to move substances against their concentration gradient that means from lower to higher concentration just opposite to the passive transport okay active transport is performed by a special type of protein molecule of the cell membrane called the pump pump consumes energy in the form of atp molecules so we will see the mechanism so there are two types of active transport primary transport and secondary transport primary transport so primary active transport is also called direct active transport it directly uses chemical energy or atp to transport molecules across a membrane against their concentration gradient that means from low to high concentration so here is the example of sodium potassium pump it uses atp to move sodium ions out of the cell and potassium ions in so here energy is utilized atp gets hydrolyzed to produce energy and using that energy this pump performs primary active 
ट्रांसपोर्ट नेक्स्ट इज सेकेंडरी एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट सो सेकेंडरी एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउज वन मॉलिक्यूल टू मूव डाउनवर्ड दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम अ हाई कंसेंट्रेशन रीजियन टू अ लो कंसेंट्रेशन रीजियन इन ऑर्डर टू जेनरेट इनाफ एंट्रोपिक एनर्जी टू ड्राइव द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ द अदर मॉलिक्यूल अपवर्ड दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम अ लो कंसेंट्रेशन रीजियन टू अ हाई कंसेंट्रेशन रीजियन सो द एनर्जी इज डिफरेंट इन सेकेंडरी एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट इट फर्स्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट वन मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम हाई टू लो कंसेंट्रेशन ड्यूरिंग दिस मूवमेंट एंट्रोपिक एनर्जी गेट्स प्रोड्यूस्ड एंट्रोपिक एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट द एनर्जी जेनरेटेड फ्रॉम मॉलिक्यूलर डिजॉर्डर और रैंडमनेस and by using that energy other molecule is transported from low to high concentration here energy is not directly coming from atp so we will see examples so this is also known as coupled transport there are two types of coupled transport antipod and sympod okay antipod antipod transport involves the movement of two molecules in opposite directions across a membrane this is the plasma membrane and the two molecules are moving in the opposite directions the sodium calcium antiporter in cardiac muscle cells moves three sodium ions into the cell and one calcium ion out next is sympod transport sympod transport involves the movement of two molecules in the same direction example sodium potassium chlorine sympoter in the loop of henle of the nephron transports four molecules of three different types a sodium a potassium and two chloride ions so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture Thank you for watching my video